Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we kind of enjoy unboxing new games as they arrive and we are definitely on trend with the wonderful tapestry here from Stonemaier Games. It's designed by Jamie Stegmaier with art by Andrew Bosley and it's a game for one to five players ages 12 plus that plays in about 90 to 120 minutes. So this game came out last year, so that would be 1990, 1990, no, 2019. Yes, 2020 really has lasted forever. And there was a big hubbub about it at the time. Um, and some people liked the idea of it being a civilization game. Some people claimed it wasn't and were disappointed. So I kind of, I kind of find it interesting that I'm here a year later um, after the fact and seeing exactly what's inside. And I wonder if what the game still has to hold. So first off, box. Big box. Um, feels lovely. Um, as you may expect from Stormire Games, they make some very kind of high quality board games. Um, and the art is quite cute as well. I don't know if it says tapestry really, does it? There's nothing to do with weaving anything or stuff. That's what I would have anticipated. So let's have a quick look at the back. You can see the side, chunky, chunky box. Love a good chunky box. And then here we go. So we get an idea of what's inside. Um, so yeah, it's a civilization game. It looks like there's a map, there's a board that has all sorts of tra tracks around the outside of it. Um, obviously these buildings, I think is what, you know, um, Tapestry has become known for these adorable little buildings that you place out on the map. Um, and now I have played this one before, which is kind of interesting. For once I'm doing an unboxing where I know what's inside. So we're going to focus a little bit more on the component quality than we are on the oohs and ahs. So yeah, there seems to be lots of stuff in this box. Right, let's get inside the box. Um, I'm predicting that it will have some sort of nice organizational system. Because that's usually what happens with these boxes. Oh, very big box. Okay, so tapestry. Is that really the, the rule book? The rule book is like four pages. Oh, and it feels amazing. It feels like the wingspan um, rule book. So global setup, player setup. Gameplay, with some nice pictures and art. Okay, the different tracks and end game, that's it. Rules, four pages. That's pretty impressive. I hope there are in fact enough rules in there to make it all playable, but that's kind of fantastic. Next up, the automat, which means you can play the game solo and there are also small rules. There is a Shadow Empire variant. Ooh, no idea what this is. Well, uh, this is for the Automa as well. So we carry that on, that looks cool. Then there's a reference guide, which looks almost as big as the rules book. Quite like these. They're very busy though, aren't they? God, you'd want to know what you were looking for before you looked anything up. Well, they are double-sided. Um, and there is only two. For games for two to five players, I suppose you can't be expecting every player to have one of those, could you? Ooh, look what's inside. Okay, so next up we have Cards. Oh, look at the back. You guys see that through the all the plastic. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, very cool. Well, cards. I'll have a look at those separately in a minute. Doop. And then this is obviously the game board, which is actually still in cellophane. Okay, so I will open this one separately as well. We'll get back to these so we can look at all the components kind of quickly. We have some what cards. They look very charter stony cards, don't they? Fair enough. And then what else? Okay, they've given us a number of bags, which I appreciate because we never, you know, bags good. Um, we have some dice. Interesting, we'll get back to those. There's a lot of things here in plastic that is not like resealable. Ooh. So this has a lovely layer to keep everything protected. Nitty approved, if I could get it out of it. Is it taped somewhere? It feels like it's taped, oh, there we go. It did have tape. That's also very heavy plastic, I have to admit, for keeping everything in. And then this is, you know, the reason why you're here or why you might play tapestry. I think the most attractive parts are these beautiful buildings. They're very chunky, very heavy. Really, really like them. So this one here is my favorite. The lighthouse. I have a thing for lighthouses. So that's really cool. And there's a huge variety of buildings in here. So it's like a farmhouse or a church of sorts. Very cute. Space related things. Ooh, this one is like just a really tall building. It's like it with an elevator nearly in it. 
I like them a lot. I think these are very, um, a really nice touch to make the game stand out. And there are lots and lots of them to get through. Um, so that's cool. And then in here, we have a whole bunch of bags of things. So there are tokens and little houses. Um, and we'll get to those next. So we have some nice chunky dice. Yeah. Um, which seem to give you things or symbols or victory points it looks like um so they're quite nice and chunky next so next up we have some teeny tiny brown houses um these kind of feel quite rubbery nearly i think they're fantastically cool looking there's a good number of them as well um and i like the detail on them if you guys can have a look with me Whoop. So yeah, they're very detailed, you can see like every shingle on their house. So that's brown houses. Let's see what color houses next. Okay, so now we have yellow houses. Um, so these are like little roundy huts. Lots of houses in this game, isn't there? Lots of little 3D pieces. Very nice. Very yet again, feels rubbery, feels solid. On to the next color house. Right, so now we're on to the red houses, which look kind of vaguely like the yellow houses. Like, they're fairly similar. Yet again, super detailed, nice rubbery things. Excellent. Okay, next. So now there are grey houses, and these at least look a little bit different because they've got kind of a, a sloped top. Like so, see? There we go. Yet again, made of the same awesome rubbery stuff. I think these will look really, really cool when they're set up on the table, actually. Okay, so let's see what's next. So there are five player colours to choose from um as you can see here white one's always kind of interesting isn't it um i'll open one so we can have a look and see what everything's like inside but i'll keep the rest on in the wrappers okay so these are all the bits you start with as a player you have like a little tower which is quite cute um and some cubes these are plastic cubes they're not wooden ones um, these aren't made of the same things as the rest of the buildings. These are definitely much more hard plastic. Um, but they do have a lot of detail on them as well, as you can kind of see. They're very teeny, but very cute. I can see these looking quite well across the board. And these are the same for every colour. Well, it wouldn't be some sort of stone mirror game unless there was stars in it somewhere, right? Um, so as you can see, these, um, there's a very small amount of these type of tokens and they're used to signify how much of each of these things you have on your track on your player board. Um, so you don't actually need too many of those. Like, I get that this one's a bag of money and this one's a mushroom, but what is this? I think it's supposed to be a giant meeple. But to me, it looks kind of like an onion head or a little sumo wrestler, maybe. I don't know. It's an unusual shape to see here, let alone mushrooms. But um, so there you go. But those are the resources in the game. Okay, what's left? Okay, so the first lot of cards we have look like type of invention. So air conditioning, ammonia. And these seem to have bonuses when you complete them. Anesthesia, assembly line. So the art is all kind of similar here. It's the same color background. Bakery, that's a landmark. So we saw one of those earlier. Um, that's kind of cool. And so it looks like, you know, you're going to be building out your technologies for your civilization, um, but not necessarily in the order you think they are. Um, so there's all sorts of cool things that you could learn about or invent um, as you go through the game, which is kind of cool, actually. It's always, fun, it's always fun to see what you might make next. Okay, we won't go through all of these cards. The next pile of cards we have. So the next pile we have are to do with eras and things. So I think these are those special cards that you get to do in different ages, right? Um, so I'm not fully acquainted with the, the game entirely. Um, Age of Wonders, Alliance, there's all kinds of things that can happen in your civilization to give you bonuses or things like that capitalism coal barn so yeah so the art is all very very samey anyway you would spot these cards a mile away wouldn't you um there's lots of it and it's very very pretty diplomacy dystopia so you can see all the kinds of things that can happen to your civilization and there's a good number of these and the quality of the cards in this is lovely they're very um thick card stock um, and they feel really nice in your hand as well okay so i think what's next is the board Okay, so I may have lied just a tad, um, but mostly because I came across these beautiful cards first and thought we'd show them off before we waited for the big reveal of the map. So these are different civilizations or groups you can play as. 
Um, these feel amazing. They feel slightly like, I want to say sandpaper, like listen. Yeah, there's something special on the cover of them. Um, these have lovely big art and obviously they decide kind of the special thing that your um, civilization can do or your people can do um, over time and there's all sorts of ways of mixing this and I love the militants one, that's brilliant. <laughs> Fire the cannons! Um, yeah, the art in these is really beautiful. I love the size. I think these are big cards. Like, you can see the back as well. They have this beautiful art. Fantastic stuff. So the Merrymakers. The isolationist, so all different kinds of fun things, giving you lots of replayability in the game where you can play as all the different characters and stuff. I think this is really, really beautiful. Look at it go. The futurist. Who would you who would you play as? Have you have you played these before? Who is your favourite faction to play as? The chosen. I don't know what they all do yet, so that, that'll come soon. Review coming soon. Cool. So that is all of those. Okay, and finally we're really gonna to get to the board this time. So packed in with the board, we found these player boards. <laughs> so there are different types of lands and you get to fill in your buildings in here for bonuses and stuff. These also feel amazing, um, just like the Civilization cards too, they're kind of the gritty thing. Look at that, there's a good selection of those. Very nice. Then we have a track. For a tank factory technology. I have a feeling this is where all of those little buildings go. See, they sit onto these, right? That's the different names of the buildings, maybe? I think so. There's nothing else on the back, so it looks like that. Okay, and then these are the player boards. These are very pretty, actually, when you look at them, aren't they? Um, so here you put out those cards that you get kind of through the ages and stuff. They go there. Um, and by unlocking certain things um, up here, by having certain things complete. You can get more things at the start of every round. I'm being very specific. Um, and so yeah, we have one for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then we have this, which is for the automata. Um, so obviously they have a, the solo mode has a different way of approaching the game, but it's perfect. I've heard good things about it. Oh, we actually have some cardboard. Oh yes, so these are the tiles that go out on the board as you play. It's kind of an exploration thing, you place them out and then you can build there, you pick up things. Um, there's also space tiles, see those at the top? These are a really nice colour by the way, we'll pop one out and see what goes. Oh, okay, one's going to pop itself out for us. Um, it's quite thick cardboard now, not super, super chunky, but nice quality stuff. And the art's very nice as well, isn't it? Okay, so that's those, I'll put that back in there for later. That explains what I needed all those baggies for. And, right, we made it to the board. Took me long enough, didn't it? Okay, so this is, okay, it's big. It's got two sides. Can't tell you the difference right now. But yeah, you're not getting a very good vision of this. I don't think my, my camera lens can go out any further. Okay, I think that's the best I can do camera lens wise. Um, I hate seeing the paper and the plastic on the side. But I just wanted to give you a feel for how this board looks um, in person. Um, it's unusual that it has rounded edges, kind of weird. Um, it is a perfect square, so I, it should be fun to try fit that and play with it on a table. But it's beautiful looking, isn't it? It's, uh, this whole world in the middle, it's nicely coloured, it looks good. And you can see around the side here now we have the different tracks that you go up to get various bonuses um, and whatnot. So we have technology, military, science, and exploration. And so to do anything in the game, you have to activate these tracks to do that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a nice looking board. I'm looking forward to playing some more of this actually. Um, so now the fun bit begins, can I fit this back in the box? Okay, so that's mostly everything back in. I think some of it could definitely do with some better organizing, but I'll worry about that once I know where everything goes. So we'll put the lid back on. You did not just hear the crush of the rule book. No, of course not, I took better care of it than that. So yeah, so that was Tapestry, folks. What do you think of it? Have you played it already? Um, if you did, why were you watching my unboxing video? Um, if you haven't tried it yet and are thinking about it, well, now hopefully you have a better idea with inside the box. So thanks for watching um, and why not like or subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. 
and tune in again for some more unboxings, reviews and all other fun stuff I can think of. Take care everybody, bye bye.